This is a drawing that my son made when he was three. It's so unexpected and it's actually so fearless of an interpretation of his experience and uh, of what he was experiencing in that moment, he drew it. You know, how he experienced himself or who he was looking at. And um, I think that in the program, that's one of the things that we're truly working with is that kind of open mind. And um, he, uh, even looking at it, even looking at it now, um, or when I find when one looks at it, one doesn't really understand it. And, but one really want, is, is engaged with it. So one of the things we teach to in the program is uh, doing without knowing and uh, working, um, um, really working without knowing. And you, we're really, all the techniques, especially the, all of them, but the move, for instance, the movement somatic work is, uh, is a real training, is working from the unknown into the known, um, from the unconscious into the conscious. So just for instance, if a person may, is working from an internal, from, li from listening, and one has a response of a gesture or a movement, uh, one doesn't know what that movement's going to be before they do it. And um, that's a wonderful thing, but it's a thing that really blocks the artist often, or the aspiring artist often, that one would like to know what one is going to do before one do it, does it. It feels a little safer. And that is, in, at least in the tradition that I am, lineage I'm part of, that is not the way to make art. It's not interesting art, and it's not something so, but it is a very deep, and often t terrifying journey to be able to train oneself to do without knowing.